Mr. McCoy here, your wonderful teacher with the second edition of African Folktale Theater, this one featuring the farmer and four hyenas. Here it comes now. Once upon a time, there was a farmer named Musa, who lived in a village five miles away from the nearest town. He was very pleased when his wife gave birth to a baby boy. It is the custom that you should have very good meals of meat for the next seven days, Musa said to his wife. With pepper, his wife replied. Pepper and meat I shall buy for you, said Musa, when I go to the town. On the following day, Musa walked through the forest and the high grass of the bush to the town, which was well known for its market. As Musa approached the market, he could hear the drums beating, which told him that the butchers had fresh meat for sale. First of all, Musa bought a pocket full of red peppers. Next, he went to the butchers. Let me have four legs of a cow, Musa asked the butcher. My wife has given birth to a baby boy, and I must give her much meat that is sweet for her to eat. The legs make excellent soup said the butchers as they gave the meat to Musa, together with peppers. Musa paid for the meat, then spent the rest of the day visiting friends and relatives in the town. In each compound which he entered, and to each friend whom he met in the street, he said, My wife has given birth to a baby boy. Each friend and each relative replied, I see that you have much meat to take back to her. In the evening, after the priest outside the mosque had called for prayers, Musa left the town for his home. On his shoulders, he carried the four legs of the cow. Before he had traveled two miles, it became dark. Now the part of the country through which Musa was walking was infested with very fierce hyenas. Soon Musa heard their laughing and he began to walk quickly. Suddenly, in an open space beside the path, there was a rush of feet and movement on the sandy soil, and Musa was looking into the yellow eyes of a hyena. Musa at first stood still with fright and then suddenly started to run as fast as he could go. The hyena came quickly after him, preparing to attack. In despair, Musa threw down one of the cow legs which he was carrying. While the hyena stopped to eat the meat, Musa ran on. We're going to stop right now and give you the opportunity to share with your fellow African what do you think is going to happen next in the story of the book and four hyenas? Share with that fellow African right now. Wow, I heard some great things being said. The Farmer and Four Hyenas is now going to continue. As you recall, Musa threw down one of the cow legs which he was carrying, and while the hyena stopped to eat the meat, Musa ran on. Before long, however, Musa heard another hyena laugh. He found another hyena in front of him on the path. Again, Musa threw a cow leg to the hyena, and while the hyena stopped to eat the meat, Musa ran on quickly, as quickly as he could go, and faster than he had run before. But again another hyena appeared and threatened to attack. This hyena was larger and fiercer than the two others had been. Again, Musa threw a cow leg to the hyena, and while the hyena stopped to eat the meat, Musa ran on as quickly as he could go. Now Musa remembered that there was a small village not far from where he was and nearer than his own village. He turned and followed a narrow path which led to the nearer village, all the time running very fast. But for the fourth time, a hyena suddenly appeared. This hyena was even larger than the one had been before. I will eat you, growled the hyena, and jumped towards Musa. Without hesitation, Musa threw the last cow leg to the hyena, knowing that there was nothing left to throw for hyenas to eat except himself. 
He ran on and on until, to his relief, he saw in the distance the glimmering light of a village which told him that he had nearly reached the village. As he was running towards the light, he found that all four hyenas were now chasing him. He tried to call for help, but he was so breathless that he had lost his voice. Just before the hyenas were near enough to catch him, he managed to reach the village and entered the first house that he came to, where there were many people inside the entrance hall, sitting around a brightly burning fire. Musa fell on the floor, unable at first to talk, and breathing hard because he had been running so fast for so long. The laughing of the hyenas outside the house told the villagers that Musa had been chased. The villagers seized their knives and axes and ran out to frighten the animals away. When they returned, they gave Musa some food and a place to sleep. The next morning, Musa thanked his protectors and returned to his own village. He told his wife what had happened and how he had lost the cow legs. Only the pocket of peppers have I brought you, he said. Better you lose everything, his good wife replied, as long as you return safely yourself to your wife and your child. The next day, Musa went back to the market in the town. He had only enough money left to buy one cow leg. He told everyone his misfortune and his adventure, and there was no one who did not help him. The money he was given was enough to buy three more cow legs. The drums were beating and the butchers were again selling meat. Musa bought four cow legs once more, thanking his good adventure, his good fortune. Not waiting for the night, but in the sunshine of the afternoon, he hurried back to his village. On the day he thought he heard hyenas in the grass, but he was not sure. He thought he saw yellow eyes, but he was not sure, but he reached home safely. Thick soup was made for his wife. She grew strong. The baby boy grew well, and Musa and his family lived happily ever after. The time has come again to share with your fellow African, what is your opinion of the farmer and four hyenas and if Musa could relive the day when the four hyenas chased him down, what do you think he would do differently? So what is your opinion of this African folktale? And what do you think Musa would do differently if he could relive the day when those four hyenas chased him down and took the cow legs? The time has come to share your answer to both parts of that question with your fellow African. Fantastic sharing, but for now we need to stop. Our next African folktale will feature the greedy but cunning tortoise. I know for a fact you will be in the audience paying close attention to the details of that African folktale. <laughs>